Hi everyone, welcome to the next Halo font tutorial. Now this font tutorial is the Halo 3 Oddest, or whatever, however you pronounce it. Um, so this effect here is kind of like the previous tutorial, Halo 3. Uh, basically along the same lines, just with a few different uh, things. So all you have to do is download the font uh, as I said from the font website and install it by going to um, your fonts folder and copy and pasting it in and uh, then you go to Photoshop and you go click on the text tool which is on the left hand side and then you click doesn't matter how big you have your font um, well depending if you have it pretty small then the effects aren't going to be so great, so you want it pretty medium, like biggish. Um, so mine is like one four six, or however you want to do it, or whatever you're working on. Um, so once you've done that, we're going to go and click um, on the layer. So if you put in your text, like I put Halo, uh, we're going to click on that layer, that text layer. Now I'm just going to go through the same effects as I've done, so I'm just going to quickly go through them with you. So we're going to jump to gradient overlay, everything's going to be kept as normal, blending mode normal, opacity 100%, gradient, we're going to change the colour in a minute, linear, align with layer, checked on, and angle at 90, scale 100%. If we click on gradient, as you can see I have um, two colours here, so if I click one, one colour, the first colour is going to be, if you can see the code, it's D3E2F5. Put that in there, and then click OK. The next colour is going to be um, 14283E. Now these two colours right here, they're exactly the same colours. Um, one location is going to be 22, the other location is going to be 57, right here click OK then we're going to jump over to bevel and emboss now the style is going to be inner bevel technique is going to be smooth distance is going to be 1 size is going to be 5 and the angle is going to be 30 altitude is going to be 30 um, the highlight mode is going to be overlay the color is going to be uh, this code right here which is D-A-E-C-F-A -E um, if you can see that should be in HD this video so you should be able to see it and click OK the shadow mode is going to be um, normal the color is going to be 5AA4AB click OK now the highlight mode opacity is going to be 100% the shadow mode opacity is going to be 75% don't forget to put the size to 5 and the depth to 1 as I said and then put click on the inner glow in a glow mode, or blending mode is going to be normal, opacity is going to be 100%, uh, the colour is going to be white, uh, everything else is going to be kept the same, so softer, edge, checked on, the size is going to be free, the contour is going to be this little curved one right here, and then we're going to go to the inner shadow, it's going to be multiply, black, opacity 75, angle at 30, size at 1, and then we're going to go on to the drop shadow and the blending mode is going to be multiply black opacity 19 angle at 30 distance at 3 size at 10 now once you have all of that done you're going to click OK now you're going to make uh, blank layers here so if you go to the bottom right hand side and click a new blank layer the new blank layer icon sorry now you're going to get this one right here now you're going to be working on like a couple of different colors here now so one is going to be so you can change the opacity to, of this uh, layer to 45% and color burn now this one right here is going to be um, let's change the color so the color is going to be for this one is going to be the 406482 so if you can see that then click OK and you're going to use the paintbrush um, tool 
you're going to put the spatter which is going to be 59 you want to go up and down on sizes depending on how big your font is at the time and then you're just going to go uh, make sure you hold down control and then click the text layer which then selects the text and make sure you're working on the blank layer and then just dab lightly like that over and then you want to make a new blank layer so this one right here um, basically all you have to do is keep changing colors it's all different shades of blue the next one next color code that you want to put in is going to be 2072C0 now if you uh, didn't hear me properly because I have uh, a British accent so and some people you know can't understand so it's two zero seven two C zero and this is the main one this is the main blue that changes um, from the Halo 3 other one uh, tutorial that I showed you and you want to dab that on there so once you've done that that opacity is going to be 43 percent that's going to be color burn as well and then the next two layers uh, you want to keep with the blue the same blue that you've already got um, you can change it slightly to a more vibrant blue depending on your taste um, we're going to go and the next layer is going to be set to normal blending mode see right here and the opacity is going to be 100 percent and then you're just going to dab again lightly over there now once you've done all of that you can even make another layer and bring the opacity down to 45 percent blending mode is going to be normal you can change the blue like i've done um, so working on them two kinds of blues right there going back and forward between color burn and normal and opacity like i said um, so this one's got like four layers ranging from different ones i have told you the uh, the effects that you're going to need and that's basically it you can press ctrl and d deselect and that's basically it there now don't forget you're going to be spending a lot more time on this than me so you're going to have a lot better uh, results than mine because I've only just um, quickly showing you what you can create and what you can do so basically that's the main um, basics of this font right here so uh, that's about it and I'll see you in my next tutorial bye for now